Hi, Paul with Diode Dynamics, and today we're talking about LED bulb performance. Specifically, what makes some LED headlight bulbs better than others when it comes to really seeing further down the road and shining more light out of your headlight. Now, a lot of people like to talk about the lumens or the total power of the bulb, and that's just not the main important thing. Most important is that it's gonna stay in focus. Now, why is that? Well, let's look at a halogen bulb to start. The halogen bulb is designed around a very tight coil filament. So that's where the light is going to emit from. That filament is very specifically defined. So the bulb manufacturers are gonna make their bulbs and make sure it's aligned perfectly every single time. And they do that with very, very meticulous standards that are established. So here's an example. You might have not seen this before. This is the, basically the rule book for how the bulbs have to be designed, how big the coil is exactly in the headlight. And then there's specifications for every single bulb on where exactly those filaments have to be located. A certain distance up from the base, everything like that. You know, exact positioning, can it be tilted at all? They have to keep very precise standards to the manufacturer of these bulbs. But that's what allows us to take a bulb and put it in, a, in our light and know that the beam pattern is gonna be exactly the same. So when it comes to LED bulbs, we have to do that too. But again, why is that? Well, it's about maintaining the focus. If you look at any reflector headlight, you'll see it's made of tiny mirrors. So it's a bunch of individual surfaces. So when we put our bulb inside of the headlight, we're gonna shine light from this tiny filament and hit a mirror, hit another mirror, hit another mirror. Each mirror is gonna be designed to basically bounce the light off and shine it. Maybe some of it will be going to your hot spot. That's the most important part. Some of it will be, will be going to the side to give you some width to the pattern, maybe a little bit going down to the road to create some foregrounds. But the headlight designer basically just sets up a bunch of mirrors, and so it's important to maintain the exact positioning and size for the, where that light is shining from. We call that the emitting point, or the focal point of the headlight. Now, when it comes to LED bulbs, it's very important to maintain that same emitting point. Even if you have a projector headlight like this, all you can see is the lens here. But in fact, if you look inside of it, you'll see that it's, they all have this bowl on them. And it's a parabolic reflector, so it's gonna collect all the light, but it's still gonna be a big reflector here. So we need to position that filament in the right spot to collect the light, shine it to the lens, and to the road. So this is why with LED headlight bulbs, the first bulbs on the market they were using these COB chips. Why? Because that's all that was out there. Big, large yellow phosphor areas on these chips uh, because that's all that they could use to shine high amounts of brightness out of them. But they're horribly focused. The result with anything like this is just gonna be a blob of light. You won't have an intense hot spot, and that's what you need to shine down the road. So if you have anything like this, I would definitely recommend looking for a newer option. Luckily, Many bulbs are using modern LEDs on them, which are much smaller, and that gives us the intensity and the size that we need. So there's a bunch on the market now that are using these much smaller LED emitters in order to achieve the output and the focus that we need. And if you look at a comparison between the halogen and the original bulb, you can see they align them specifically to fit right where the original filament was. So that's the whole goal here, is we wanna mimic that location. The height has to be identical, and the width has to be identical. Now, the last part to it is the spacing here. So with the, with the original halogen filament, obviously it's just a coil, it's a circle basically from this angle. We don't have too much spacing at all. But still, the problem with LEDs and the challenge designers face is how do we get these LEDs very close together and emitting a lot of light while keeping them cool. Well, the easiest way to keep it cool is to put a big old heat sink right between these chips, like you can see with this bulb here. Big piece of metal to get the heat out of this. And a lot of bulbs do this too. So you can see how this one has a big metal surface on either side. It's all to get the heat down to the base where it can be dissipated from the bulb. Uh, so a lot of bulbs have extra features like that. Now. We have to maintain that small gap though to ensure the best focus. If we just measure that, you can see how some of them are quite a bit better than others. So first we've got a uh, one I can get to the chips on a little bit here. 
where this is a full, almost a six millimeter spacing, about five and a half to six millimeter spacing between these chips. That's a huge gap and that's gonna definitely put it out of focus. Uh, this one here, you can measure this. Uh, that's also uh, maybe a little bit less, about five millimeter spacing. So that is going to get the heat out of those chips, but it's gonna be out of focus now. Uh, here's another one. So this is a popular one on the market. You can measure this one and see, this one's gonna be a lot better. I can already see, but we're still, sorry, still looking at about two and a half, 2.6 millimeter spacing on this. So again, not focused. So compared to the origin, original halogen filament, there is just a lot of space between these chips meaning they're not gonna be as focused. So this is a big thing we took into consideration when we designed the SL1 headlight at Diode Dynamics. And for our bulb here, I actually have just a circuit board that goes inside of it. And with our circuit board, we can see that our spacing is about 1.6 to 1.7. So, whoops. So very, very tight spacing here between these chips. And that's what allows the Diode Dynamics SL1 to be the most focused bulb on the market and that's what gives you the most light down the road where it needs to shine. So whether you have a reflector or projector, the focus is gonna be the most important thing when it comes to really improving the output with LED headlight bulbs. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Uh, you can find more information online at diodynamics.com. Thanks for watching.